What up, bro? It's your boy, BA For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. So, I'm excited today. So excited I got my glass of wine. Yes, we on that grown man. Yes, no rock today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We on that wine. Uh, but welcome to the fir very first episode of Battle Rap Track Sheet. Uh, what do I mean by track sheet? That means what is um these uh well i'm gonna be highlighting uh battle rappers that are known all across the uh all across the world that are big names and who they battled and if they won these battles um now don't get me wrong you got people like dna um charlie clips that, have, that battled a bunch of people that i don't want to call nobodies but these are battles that not too many people even care about but so i'm gonna keep it to the notable names you dig and the very first artist that i want to talk about is the young fella from B More. He from that Maryland, y'all. He from that Maryland. What's his name? He goes by the name of Tay Rock. Yes, yes, yes. Let me sip to that real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Salute Tay Rock. I see you. Don't hate me after this one, but we gotta keep it real, sir. We definitely gotta keep it real. Um, the very first battle that I can go back to of uh, of, uh, of a notable name would be the first name would be Kaboom. Young guy, I believe he's from Philly. I believe he's from Philly. This was years ago. Years ago. I believe Tay Rock won that battle. Um, pretty solid battle, but uh, if you, you feel me, if you, when you were in that era, this battle was actually dope. If you watch it now, you're like, ah, right, it's cool, it's cool. But if you were actually in that era of battle rap, you feel me, it'd be dope. That, that was actually a pretty good battle to me still. Still a good battle. Uh, but I got him beating Kaboom. Meaning that I got him one zip. Next battle up. <sighs> His very first battle with Shotgun Shug. Yes. Yes, I remember this like it was yesterday. I remember this like it was yesterday. We had two of these fellas. I remember I was like, who is these? Like I knew him, but I didn't know him. You feel me? I knew him, but I didn't know him. You feel me? I just remember Tay Rock getting killed by Charlie Clips a year, a, a couple of years before this battle. Yes. Yes, I've been in this game for a long time. You feel me? A long time. But um, with that being said, uh, this was a very entertaining battle. It was, it was decent. Uh, decent to a degree as far as bars it was okay but as far as energy both of these cats had it even though the audio is kind of jacked up but with that being said I got Tay Rock winning this battle as well Tay Rock Tay Rock beat Shotgun Shug outside was it the bus stop was it outside the park wherever it was I had Tay Rock winning that battle so we got Tay Rock 2 zip 2 zip next battle that I want to highlight because I don't we can talk about Roller we can talk about Rich Dallas we could talk about PG Skillet, but nah, those guys are not really notable names anymore in the game. They've been distant and gone for so long. Rich Dallas tried to make a comeback, but he up in heaven still. You feel me? I think John John sent them there, and I ain't seen him since, really. Well, he did try to make a comeback, and then I guess he called out or somebody called out, something like that. But anyways, the next battle would be Tay Rock's first battle versus K-Shine. Now, this battle... <sighs> I don't I think what was it in a restaurant? It was somewhere. It was somewhere. But it was them two face to face. And this is like the beginning of those uh but beginning of the URL days you dig. Well before URL was the conglomerate that it is now. And with that being said, hold up. I had K Sean winning this battle. I had K Sean winning that first matchup. That first head to head matchup was super dope. I think it was at a time where it was like, once again, the bars and stuff wasn't really there for me, but the energy from them both was amazing, it was amazing because this is where you seen K-Shine and you seen Tay Rock super hungry. I'm talking about, ah, like we got to eat. I don't even think they got paid for that battle. They might have, but I know they get paid now for their battles. They get paid a little hefty amount. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But with that being said, I actually had... Um, I had Kayshawn winning that battle. The next battle that I want to talk about. Yeah, I'm going to take another sip for this one too. Young Cannon. Wow. Yeah, Tay Rock battle Young Cannon. For your, for those of you new heads that's been in the game for three, four years possibly. But past that. Um, and I actually had Tay Rock winning. I think he uh, I think he handled big, I mean, uh, Young Cannon uh, fashionably. You feel me? That battle was super duper solid. This is when Tay Rock Bar started to actually get better to me. And Young Cannon, Young Cannon at the time, 
because now when young can when when young cannon spits his references are, are usually outdated but at this time they were on point they definitely were on point but i still got tay rock winning and i believe this is what got him to actually join the cave gang from the beginning you dig that's what i believe i don't i don't know i don't know because you got to face tay rock most nine times out of ten to even get in cave gang unless your name is half or if you, unless your name was Ryder, which Ryder is no longer there because he turned his back on y'all. But that's another that's another vlog. That was the back in the gap too. That was a couple years ago. But anyways, um, I have Tay Rock uh, beating Young Cannon. Next up, O Red versus Tay Rock. Ah, O Red came and did his thing. He did his thing. Mm. But I still got Tay Rock winning that one as well. Um. Charlie Clips versus Tay Rock. This is another battle that we're going to talk about. Why? Why are we going to talk about this battle? Because I believe that Tay Rock, I believe Tay Rock came in and he 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 was he didn't know he was getting himself into this first time. This is the first matchup. He don't he don't ah. This was the first time that Tay Rock ever got bodied. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's been bodied ever since. He's lost since then, but he has not gotten bodied like this. Charlie Clips before Rich Dollars was sent up there, that's where Tay Rock was. He had to come back and redeem himself. And with that being said, I got Clips winning that battle, y'all. I hope y'all keep him score. I hope y'all keep him score the W's and the L's, for real. The L's and the W's, something like that. Because we're going to review and go over the wins and losses after this. Uh, next battle, Clean Paper. Now, this battle was actually pretty dope. Clean Paper actually has... Uh, has a legendary line in this, uh, the 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 drag the drag queen line. You feel me? Drag queen. Ah! I remember that shit like it was yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. You're talking to an old head. That's why I got wine. That's the rock today. I got wine. But uh, with that being said, um, I still had Tay Rock winning this battle. I think Tay Rock. I, I gave it two one to Tay Rock. Uh, the only round that was won by Clean Paper was the drag queen. Uh, the drag the drag queen uh, round. You dig? So. Next up, who Cortez. Yeah, Tay Rock battled Cortez. He did. Mm -hmm. He did. He did. He definitely did. Uh, with that being said, I had him beating Cortez as well. This was a very, very close battle, but I still edged it to Tay Rock. I think Tay, this is Tay Rock trying to... When he got body from Charlie Clips, it, he went on this, like, redeem himself tour. You dig? Because it was... The Lions Den, which was a league owned by Loaded Lux way back in the gap. For those of you who are watching and don't know Battle Rap for real or you're trying to get into it. Lions Den was a, was something that Loaded Lux created where he got a bunch of pups up in there. That's where you had goods. That's where you had clips. You had Arsenal. You had a bunch of names in there of, uh, of a lot of people that we call great or we call God tier or top tier these days was up in that league. But uh, with that being said, I, um, I, had, I had Rock beating Cortez. Next up, B Magic. Yeah, Tay Rock. Tay Rock battled some names, y'all. <laughs> he definitely battled some names. Uh, B Magic. <clears throat> I had Tay Rock winning that too. I had Tay Rock winning that too. Uh, a lot of y'all don't understand. I know B Magic is. People say he's washed up and everything, but before Rum Nitty was Rum Nitty, there was a guy by the name of B Magic who was that punch god. He was that punch god. A lot of niggas ducked him. A lot of niggas ducked him. You feel me? Just because they didn't want him to punch their heads off. And before B Magic, we didn't know punchers like that. Everything was, everything was a hip hop, a hip it to the. Nah, let me stop. It wasn't like that though. <laughs> Definitely wasn't like that. But we, um, nobody was punching as consistent and as accurate as he was at that time. This is when he was on top of his ish for real he was definitely on top top of his ish but with that being said very close battle i had rock i had rock winning that i definitely had rock winning that next battle that i want to talk about is rock versus jc mm-hmm mr julian mr jc mr yak mr yak i was gonna say yak town this but nah 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 that's ill will slogan that's ill will 2019 Battle Rapper of the Year. I know y'all saying, oh, Geechee won it. Nah, he ain't won it in 2019. Not to me. Not to me. But um, JC, JC was solid, but he took it. This was a clear L. I think Rock Energy, oh, I, Rock just took, he just took the whole momentum of everything, and uh, he won that clearly to me. 
Next battle, Ill Will versus Tay Rock. Ill Will was not prepared fully in this battle. No, no, no. He had some slip-ups. He had some slip-ups. And this is when Rock was still on his redeem uh, uh, level. You feel me? His redeem phase. With that being said, I have Rock beating Ill Will. He won that, y'all. He won that to me. To me. Um, next up, Charlie Clips Part 2. <laughs> now this is when uh this is when Tay Rock came in and this is when Tay Rock became who he is today. You feel me? This is when he this is when his name went up. He I still got him I got him losing the clips. I definitely still got him losing the clips. I got him um I got clips winning the first and the third of that battle of that part two battle, which I'm not knocking Tay Rock, but Tay Rock was so impressive because these rounds were close. Every single round was close. This is when Tay Rock started actually having some lyricism in those in those punches. This is when he started punching, and this is when he started barking. You feel me? Barking with bars, not just barking. He was barking with bars. Um, and this is when, like I said, this is when he leveled up. He leveled up. Even with that L, he still leveled up to me. He just was against a Charlie Clips that was the best in the world at that time, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I got, I got, uh, I got him taking that L to Charlie Clips in that second one as well. Uh, next battle, DNA. Mm, I know y'all like, this ain't the order that it's supposed to be in. Nah, this ain't the order. I know it ain't the order, but these are notable names though. And I'm just highlighting, I'm just definitely highlighting, um, highlighting the, the, the notable names period in, in general. But, uh, DNA. <sighs> I would have told Smack to get him the out of ah! He flipped DNA's legendary slogan. Ah! And I got Tay Rock winning that battle. I think he beat DNA, even though DNA came in there. I, I just think DNA came in there too overconfident. That battle right there, that whole thing, that battle wasn't a classic, but DNA was slept on that battle. Definitely was slept on, but he still lost. Got Tay Rock winning that. Next battle, Sue Surf versus Tay Rock. Ah! I got I got Sue Surf winning that y'all. I got Sue Surf winning that. I don't think uh, I think Tay Rock was de decent, but I just feel like Sue Surf he matched the energy, but he just had the his lyrics just went further than me. Lyrics went further than me. That's actually a notable battle that was actually pretty dope. That was a dope battle. Ah, that was a dope battle. Uh, with that being said, um, next battle. Briz Rothstein, this is when Briz was a young pup. This is when Briz was trying to come up with T-Top in the game. And uh, with that being said, I had uh, I had Briz, Briz lost 30. He lost 30. He didn't win, he didn't win, he didn't win a round. Uh, his, the closest round, I believe, was the, uh, was his, it was either the first or the second, because this happened years ago. But um, I got Tay Rock winning that battle. Tay Rock definitely won that battle. The next battle, Calico. <sighs> Ah, he hit him with the, the bat bat like Bruce Wayne. Calico won that round and had the round of the, he had the round of the night. I mean, the round of that battle. But Tay Rock came back in that second and third and won because what he do, he matched that energy and took it to a whole different level. So I got Tay Rock beating uh, Calico as well. John John the Don is next. Now this battle, this battle was super interesting. It was super interesting to me. Uh, because at the time, you had a lot of people saying John John lost. You did. You had people saying John John lost. But when you go back and you look at the tape now, you ask a bunch of people, they say John John won this battle. And me personally, at the time, since I'm a trained listener and my memory is sharp too, even though I'm sipping this wine. Yes, sir. Hold up for just a sec. I had Tay Rock losing this battle too. Mm. I think Tay Rock lost uh, lost two one. You feel me? I think he lost two one this battle. John John had a little slip up, but I like the way John John took the crowd back after he had that slip up in the second. I think his his first and his third was better, especially how he hit him with that bar. And if you follow battle rap, you know this bar when he talked about uh, Rock getting smoked in that tobacco lounge. Come on, ah! Talking about. When uh, Rock lost to Charlie Clips the second time at the Tibet. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in tune. I'm in tune. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all I know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to tell y'all. Uh, with that being said, the next battle, 
uh, that I would that I would like to speak about is uh, C3. This is when uh, Tay Rock went to Queen of the Ring and battled C3. He uh, he 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 murdered C3. C3, I'm sorry, he got you, he got you, C3. C3 got you up out of there. This was a this was a um, a male versus female battle. Um, uh, Queen of the Ring brought him in. You feel me? Uh, Debo brought him in, and C3 was actually solid this battle, but nah. Nah, she ain't. she got her ass whooped. She 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 got whooped. She got she definitely got whooped. I got Tay Rock winning that. Next next up was this two on two. I don't really count this, but the first two on two everybody knows. Gun titles versus NWX. Gun titles first two rounds. Legendary, legendary. They didn't even get to the third because of a little scuffle or whatnot where they had to break everything up. But that was legendary. Ah, low key, low key. This is what got, this is what helped Sue Surf, which is gonna be on the next episode of, of uh, Battle Rap Track Sheet. Um, this is what got Sue Surf's career back in line. And I give Tay Rock his props because without Tay Rock, you feel me, Sue Surf would not be where he's at now to me. That's what I believe because this is when Sue Surf was on that drought, y'all. This is when he was on that drought. He was losing. He was losing everything. He was losing everything. He was losing the A-verb. He was losing the calico. I can, ah, we got to say that for when it's that time of the episode for him. Ah, we got to say that. But uh, Tay Rock uh, put life in, uh, like, gave him life again. Um, they actually won that battle, but we're not counting. We're not counting the two-on-twos. And the rematch, NWX won that rematch. Yeah, that's another, ah, that's another, that's another subject on uh, some other time we'll talk about. Next up, uh, Arsenal. Uh, this is when he went up. He went to UW and he battled Arsenal. And I think Arsenal got him, y'all. I mean, I'm sorry. He beat Arsenal. Tay Rock beat Arsenal. Good battle. Two one, arguably three zero. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arsenal was talking, but uh, Tay Rock was Tay Rock was getting him. He was punching his head off to me. He was talking to him. The energy just overpowered uh, Arsenal's energy and Arsenal. I don't think he was even really prepared for that battle because it seemed like in a lot of spots he was freestyling. But I got, I got Tay Rock beating Arsenal. Ah, the next battle. Ah, Rum Nitty versus Tay Rock. Ah, I wish this battle didn't happen during this time. I wish this battle would have happened a little bit later, but they had to rush it because Rum, after he faced Av and did what he did against Av, they were like, yeah, yeah, we got to get the gun line king up in there. That's when Rum used to call himself the gun line king. Yeah, we remember that too. Mm -hmm. That was back in 2016. That was about a good four years ago, damn near. Ah, the wine make you remember everything. Ah, um, but with that being said, I had Tay Rock, I had Tay Rock winning Winning this battle, you dig? I had Tay Rock winning this battle. I think Tay Rock, I had Tay Rock winning the second, and I had him winning the third. I think that he edged. I believe that he edged the third because Rum Nitty tried to do some type of tranny angle, which turned out that some people say are true, but I don't know if it's true or not. But yeah, I got, I got Tay Rock. <sighs> ah, yeah, this was a debatable. This was a very debatable battle. Rum Nitty definitely won the first, but. That third is up for grabs for me. It's up for grabs, but I edged it to Tay Rock. I had Tay Rock beating Ron Liddy. Um, next battle, Sharon. Tay Rock lost this battle. Tay Rock lost this battle. The bar of the night, that night, and I remember this like it was yesterday. This was on the U Dub too. I wonder where the U Dub Arsenal. Ah, yeah, you leave it folded. I forgot. I forgot it folded. But. Ah, that was still dope. Dope league. Dope league had some dope matchups, but he had this. Sharon had this bar talking about um, quicker than a, a, a Sue Surf gun charge. A Sue Surf was even in the back. Was like, oh shit! They was like, that was hard. That was hard. I'm telling y'all, I know my battle rap. I'm trying to tell y'all, I know. Mm, mm, I know this ish. Uh, with that being said, I had Sharon beating Tay Rock. I had Sharon beating Tay Rock. Tay Rock had this cracker. Had this cracker angle that he kept saying, like this cracker, this, that, this. <clears throat> Didn't work for him to be in that one. But I got uh, Sharon winning that battle. Chess versus Tay Rock. Now, this battle right here, I got Tay Rock winning this. I got Tay Rock winning that second and winning that third because Chess wasn't, he didn't have it in the second and third round. But 
Chess' first round was legendary. His, his first round was legendary. I believe that this was the round that made everybody say Chess is going to be a star. That's pretty much what I think, but he still lost. I got Tay Rock beating Chess. Uh, next battle, Hollow the Don. Ah, let me sip some more. Oh, my gosh. Hollow the Don. Mm. Now, this was a debatable battle. But I labeled, to me, to me, being the old head in the game, for real, I got this as a classic battle. Um, Rocks, Rock had the legendary seatbelt bar. You feel me? He had the legendary seatbelt bar. That was the second round. That shit right there, I could never forget it. I actually have a, a series that I did way back in the gap called uh, 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 Battle Rap God Moments, where, it was the, where I was highlighting rounds where Shit was fire. Ah, I was highlighting God, God moment rounds where niggas just had the moments where they were just ah, 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 having them tray in the crib moments just swinging. Ah. Anyways, I actually had uh, I had Tay Rock winning this battle, but it's like I had Hollow, but then I went back to Tay Rock Hollow. That's how debatable this battle was. But at the end of the day. Uh, watching as many times as I did, I had uh, Tay Rock edging this battle. I had Tay Rock edging this battle. Um, next battle, Diz versus Tay Rock. Yes, 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 yes. Once again, this was a URL. They went to the West Coast. I forgot the name of the car, but I remember the battle like it was yesterday because Diz took off on Tay Rock in that first round. Yes, he did. I thought it was going to be a long day for Tay Rock. Thought it was going to be a long day. But with that being said, Diz fell flat the last two rounds. The second and third, Tay Rock took those, which means I got Tay Rock beating Disaster. Yes, he beat Disaster. Whether people want to believe it or not, he definitely beat Disasters. Um, but next up, Goods. And we almost done. Thank y'all that's hanging in there with me. Um, goods. Next battle was Goods. Um, I got Tay Rock. I got Tay Rock. Um, Losing to Goods. I got him losing to Goods. I got Goods winning. Why do? Why did I have uh, Goods winning this? And I believe this was at Gnome 7, if I'm not, or Gnome 8. Gnome 7 and Gnome 8, but I just know it was in H-Town. Um, I had Tay Rock losing this because Goods came in there with that swag and Goods took him out. Goods took him out. Goods won off of swag. That's crazy. He's one of the very few battle rappers that can just win off of swag. Yeah, yeah, we're going to sit to that. Yeah. Salute, salute. Yeah. But... I got um, I had Tay Rock, I had Tay, I had Tay Rock losing that. I had Goods winning. Uh, next battle, Hitman Holla. Yeah, yeah, Hitman Holla. <clears throat> Tay Rock took that L to Hitman Holla. Yeah, he took that L. Hitman was talking to Tay Rock. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I believe that. Yeah, Hitman won that battle. Y'all can't tell me otherwise. Um, next battle, um. Pat Stay. Tay Rock versus Pat Stay. This was overseas. This was overseas. This was uh, Summer Madness 8. Um, this is, yeah, this is definitely, so I think it was Summer, Summer Madness 8 in the UK. Um, I got Pat Stay winning this, y'all. I got Pat Stay winning that second and winning that third. I believe that the second was close. You feel me? But, but I just, I, well, the third was close. I'm sorry. I believe the third was close. But the way that Tay Rock came out in that first round and the way that the UK was showing them love, that was, y'all need to go back and watch this battle. That was, that was legendary. It was legendary. That was, uh, that watching Tay Rock in that first round gave me goosebumps. But with that being said, Pat Stay still got him. Even though that third round is debatable. It was 1-1 going into the third and I think Pat Stay got that guy. Pat Stay definitely got him, but we're going to sip to that. So I look to y'all. Okay. Next up, um, we have Bad News. Bad News. Bad News versus Tay Rock. Now, this one, this battle was a one-rounder. I really don't count one-rounders, but uh, this, was a, this was a debatable, y'all. A lot of people talking about Tay Rock whooped Bad News ass. People saying Bad News is Tay Rock. It could have went anyway, but I actually got, I got Tay Rock winning that. I think it was... This was damn near a classic one-rounder. I think it's over a million views. Been over a million views for over a year now. But dope-ass battle. Really, really dope battle. Um, next battle up. K-Shine. Part 2. 
Kayshawn versus Rock Part 2. Ah! Kayshawn got you, Rock. Sorry. He got you again. Got you twice, Rock. Got you twice. Kayshawn showed the levels. He showed the levels. I thought Rock had a shot, but nah, Kayshawn got him 2 1. Uh, the next battle, Shotgun Shug Part 2. Ah! This battle right here. Shotgun Shug actually won. He actually won. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those. This was a URL app battle. And this was fairly recent. Uh, Shotgun Shug actually, uh, he won. It's kind of like he won by default because Tay Rock slipped up. And I believe that they cut some of the footage. That's how bad he choked in uh, his second and his third, I believe. Ah, ah. You couldn't tell on the app, but everybody was talking about it. And they did show little minor slip ups in there. But. Um, Shotgun Shook def definitely beat Tay Rock the second time around. Definitely beat him the second time around. Uh, final, last and final battle. And I hope y'all got y'all sheets and y'all are marking W and uh, uh, W and L's because we gon' we gonna have to score this. We gonna have to score this soon. Um, with that being said, um, last bot battle was T Rex. That was a one rounder and Rock Rock. He he kicked T Rex ass to me. I think he he whooped T Rex. T Rex couldn't couldn't hang with him. Couldn't hang with him in this one. Uh, with that being said, uh, Rex had a Rex was solid, but Tay Rock Tay Rock got him. Tay Rock got him up out of there. Ah, he had some stuff in there too. One rounder, so I don't like judging it. But if I had to, I'm still gonna say Tay Rock won that clearly. He won that clearly. And with that being said, man, um, I got Tay Rock's record. Uh, to me, his record from the track list, the, the track listing that I actually just went went down and actually named his record to me. Hold up, hold up, y'all. I am tripping. I am tripping. Before we even get to the wins and losses, it's two battles that I'm forgetting about, and phew, it must be the wine. I don't even know. I don't even know. But uh, one being Glue Easy, uh, Glue Easy versus Tay Rock, which was a smack app battle. And uh, I originally had Glue Easy winning this, but looking at the battle multiple times and going back and forth and actually studying, um, I have to edge that battle to Tay Rock. I think experience and, uh, and and confidence separated that battle. Uh, if you go back and you watch that Glue Easy, Glue Easy had the bars to win, but he was speeding through his joint like like he was blah, 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 rapping too fast, so his cadence was just a little bit off to me. But with that being said. I got Tay Rock actually winning that battle, uh, winning that battle, um, like, uh, I don't want to say convincingly, but um, I got him edging that battle definitely versus Glue Easy. Glue put up a Glue put up a fight, but uh, yeah, I got Tay Rock. The second battle, I don't even know how I forgot, how I overlooked this. Ah, how I overlooked this battle. And this was his uh, infamous battle versus Geechee Gotti with Geechee Gotti's um, legendary first round. Ah. But you don't really ride with your nigga. Ah! <laughs> this battle right here was crazy. It was crazy. Even though that Philly crowd was on emotion that night. Uh, but with that being said, I actually got Tay Rock. I got Tay Rock um, losing this battle. And uh, this was a debatable battle. I wanted to say, I want to say Tay Rock lost that third, but. I have to, I have to say, I, I said Tay Rock lost that third because this was a highly debatable battle. Even though Geechee Gotti uh, first round was like one of the best ever rounds ever put together. Period. You feel me? On a big stage, um, Tay Rock won at second, and at third they started booing. And Geechee Gotti's third was not that good, but they didn't boo Gotti. Got it? Got it? Dang, they didn't boo Gotti. That's crazy. That's that's a bar. That's a bar. But with that being said, I got Gotti edging that third. You feel me? I got him edging that third off of technicality because once once Tay Rock brought up Cassidy's name, everybody boo and messed up the battle. Ah, which made it debatable because I believe that um Tay Rock was on his way to winning that battle, y'all. He was definitely on that way to winning that third round. But with that being said, um with the wins and losses that I have accumulated for uh for Tay Rock, I have Tay Rock with 22 wins and 12 losses. Um, so this is not including the uh, the three battles that I didn't count, but I should count and I didn't go over. And this was um, the PG Skillet, Rich Dollars, and Rolla. I think he won all three of those battles to me. 
I think he won all three of those battles. With that, with that being said, that would bring that uh, that that 22 wins up to 25 wins. So in reality, my record that I have for Tay Rock, as far as get your bars up, media's opinion, I would say his record is 25 and 12. The 12 losses that I have for Tay Rock would be K Shine, Charlie uh, K Shine the first time, Charlie Clips the first time, Sue Surf, John John the Don, Sharon. Charlie Clips the second time, Goods, Hitman, uh, Pat Stay, k Shine the second time, Suge, and uh, Geechee Gotti. So those are the 12 losses that I have for uh, for Tay Rock. What, uh, what his record indicates to me is uh, that he's a legend, and I can't knock him. He's been, he carried URL for, for, for a couple of years now. He was the face, you dig? He was the face. Um, and what this actually really tells me is that the first half of his career, he had things to prove he was super duper hungry. Where now, uh, where the second half of his career, he became the leader of Cave Gang, he got super duper cocky, and uh, he didn't stay as hungry as he was this first half of his career. Um, and I say that because it looks like, like looking at his track record, his, his track sheet period, it looks like his second half of his career he he took he took quite a few L's. Where in the first half of his career, I can only name two of them, and that was K Shine and Charlie Clips were the first two L's that I can actually name for him. He had a couple of debatables in there, but I feel like he won those. You dig? I feel like he won those. But with that being said, yeah, um, I have uh, I have Tay Rock uh, fully with full record, even with some of the names that I didn't name, uh, 25 and 12. That is damn near. That that is that that's good, man. That's that's good, y'all. I believe the reason why I say that I believe that it's a good record is because he's been rapping for over a decade. He's been rapping, been battle rapping since 2008, y'all. That's when he took his first L to Clips. He actually was rapping, I believe, a little bit before that. Ah, ah. Uh, we watched this man grow up, and he's still growing. And like I said, Tay Rock is still a legend to me. And if you are a Tay Rock stan, all I can say is. Yo, yo, you either gonna love this record or you gonna hate. If you are uh, a Tay Rock hater, you either gonna love this or you gonna hate. But I guarantee you, he definitely has more. Uh, he definitely has more W's than L's. He definitely has more wins than losses. And um, yeah, um, thank y'all for actually rocking with me. That's all I got. Thank y'all for rocking with me. The next episode will be on his uh, his his partner in crime, the guy uh, who whose career he helped revive. And this would be uh, Mr. Sue Surf. Mr. House back in Virginia, Mr. Newark, you feel me? This is going to be, I mean, the next episode is definitely going to be about him, and I'm excited to do that one, and I believe, and Sue Surf has way less battles, so it's going to be, the video is going to be a lot quicker, this one is quite long, but uh, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, but uh, anyways, this your boy BA for Real 100, this is Get Your Bars Up Media, if this is your first time here, click that subscribe button, you rock with me, I rock with you, and if you're out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not stumbling upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming, and get your bars up, salute, subscribe, all that good stuff, y'all tell me what y'all think Tay Rock full record is against notable names though, notable names, not the small whatever, against notable names though, relevant names, and I believe that I did that with this. And I'm so I'm super duper excited to get on to these next battle rappers where we actually uh, dig deep into what their record is and we can see how they were the first half of their career to where they are now. You feel me? But anyways, hopefully y'all staying safe through this quarantine time and uh, y'all staying healthy. Um, nothing but uh, I wish you all best health. You feel me? For you and your families, definitely. And until the next time, all y'all niggas that's hating. Like I said before, get your bars up. I ain't even tripping. Holla at your boy. Salud.